Eller hur? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are at Colonel here, and uh, me and Sam are gonna go for a dive. Not bring a spear gun or anything. Focus on mainly on sea urchins, abalone, maybe a lobster if I can find one. We'll see what happens. But mainly abalone sea urchins. Just want to get something a bit different, do a bit of a different video. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hop in the water, and I'll see you in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're insane But I wouldn't have it any other way If we're knocked out, we go the distance Pound for pound, we're a perfect match Pulling punches, we're toe to toe We're always on the road What's so better? We can't stop, we can't stop So we just got out of the water. We um went alright. I think we're in the water for maybe 10 minutes. Got a hang on, it's kind of stuck to the bag. We've got our target species. Abalone. Beautiful ab. Hang on, let me stump it out. Pen there. Then we got our beautiful. Come on. Let's go get these out. Beautiful red sea urchins. Now, I've been told that the red urchins are the best ones. Now, I don't know if it means these ones or these ones, or if they're different or the same. I think they're the same. But yeah. So we've got our urchins, so we'll, we'll have them first and then we'll cook up some abalone. Okay, what you want to do with the sea urchin is you want to get your knife in the, hang on, knife in the hole there. Come on, they're not the hard, easiest thing to do it with, but you want to cut a hole. And you'll be able to get a hole there, that's, that's how I do it. And you just, just without getting spines all through your hands, you're gonna cut, cut down like that. I'll just cut through the row, I think, which sucks, because that's what you eat. Go again. Okay, then you get this beautiful sea urchin. Now it's full of gunk and stuff, but hang on, I'll get rid of some of it. Get rid of the gunk. See this bit here? This is the good part. That's the row of the sea urchin. And it's beautiful eating. There'll be a gun on it. <laughs> yeah, actually, that one wasn't very nice. I've heard that you can that they're very hit and miss the sea urchins, but yeah, that one that one was very that was very sour. Try the different one. Yeah, I'll try a different urchin. Try this one. Give me a little fella. Smaller red one. Up. Still Check out this bloke. Oh, he just stopped. No, I won't make him do it. Here we go. Check that out. He's moving around. That's so cool. Hang on, anyways, we'll do this other urchin. This is a smaller one. Tell me I don't ruin the row. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this off. This time, that might have been what I had to do with. 
hole. Yeah. All right. Smaller row this time, but that was a bit better. That was nicer. And all the rows are all brown and black. You can see there in the sun, so I won't be eating that. That's a bit disappointing. But, oh, I got spike up. We've got one left. Ah, oh, I got sand spike in my hand. All right, let's hope this guy's a bit better. I'll cut him open, and then I'll show you. It's hot. So I've just cut him open the hole. There goes. That's his teeth. That's the sea urchin teeth there. Now the row in this one looks a bit orange, a lot more orange, which is what we want. So I'll cut this in half. Just using my dive knife. Cut there. No, it can't. No, it can't over more. Right. Cut there. Crack him up. See how orange that row is. I'll go over and give it a give it a rinse out. We'll see how she goes. All right, so these look a lot better. And I forgot to mention before, today's actually my birthday. So, not bad for a little birthday lunch. Let's see how we go. Get you off. Surely it's got to taste a lot better than the last ones. Perfect. <laughs> Looks like a face of disappointment there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's not for me. I usually like. I've got a sand spot on my finger. Ah, uh, I'll show you how you shuck. <laughs> Fuck my finger sore. I'll show you how you shuck an abalone. So you're going to get your knife in like that, get it in there under the muscle, and you want to just spin it and keep pushing it in as you're spinning. You just keep going around and around. Just keep going, and then you'll eventually lift it off the shell. So I've got the meat off. Leave the guts. There's the guts. Throw that in the water. Cut the excess guts off if there's any. Which I'll just do on the board, but that's how you get your abalone shells nice and sharp, then you just slice them up thin. All right, so we've got our freshly cut up abalone. Now, Sam put the pan on too early and put butter in it, so it's all burnt, because he's special. So while we wait for that to get all the water off it and reheat, put some more butter in, this is all we've got. So you just kind of cut them nice and thin like that. They'll go, it'll only take like a minute to cook those. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty damn nice. Yeah, I haven't done abalone in a while, so this will be pretty nice. Put all this in. Yeah, it literally won't take very long. So move it all around, get it all spread out evenly. It's a big dog piece. Yeah, we just want to get that all cooked out nicely, so we're going to have an idea. Have you eaten abalone before? No. Yeah, Sam's never eaten abalone, so this will be pretty good. Pretty keen on this. Alright, so about two minutes and that'll be ready. Alright, so our abalone is ready now. And he's good to go. We'll just let it cool down a sec. Oh, that's hot. We'll let it cool down for a sec, then we'll have some. Alright, nice crispy little piece of abalone here. Mm. It's almost like Sam just said it. Now I can taste it with that crispy bit. It's like bacon. And it looks a bit like it too, if you have a look. And that looks like bacon, it actually tastes like it as well. Oh, awesome. But yeah, we'll finish this off. No, I don't know, see what we do. All right guys, I've got to um, do an outro, so if you enjoyed that video, I know it's only a short and quick one, just something to get something out, so I haven't posted in like a week and a half or whatever. And um, yeah. But, um, yeah, make sure you like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new here, haven't already. Subscribe if you're new here, haven't already. Uh, comment, let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up and uh, ring that bell. See you all in the next video.